Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a story time about when I went to a Westboro Baptist Church protest at Apple when I was 16 years old. For those of you that don't already know, Westboro Baptist Church is a hate group. So with that in mind, if you don't want to watch this video, you don't have to. I have a lot of other videos on my channel that are a lot more positive. But for those of you that are interested in the story and those of you that have asked me to talk about this, keep watching because I'm going to be talking about everything that happened. So just for a little bit of background, I was working at a startup called The 36 at this time. The company doesn't exist anymore, but it was basically Instagram for news. So at that time, the app was about to launch and I decided to cover the Westboro Baptist Church protest on the app to try to drive more traffic to the app. The protest at Apple was part of Westboro Baptist Church's God Hates the Media tour. They went around to a bunch of tech companies in Silicon Valley on August 12th, 2014, which is actually four years ago today. It was also unfortunately the day after Robin Williams passed away. This was the front page of the Chronicle that morning and there's a connection between Robin Williams and the protest, but I'll get into that later. So now that all of that backstory is out of the way, let's get into what actually happened. So on the morning of August 12th, I tweeted that I was going to be covering the protest on the 36 app and WBC actually replied to me. The account that they're using at that time is now suspended, so I only have my responses to them. But they're basically just spewing a bunch of hate and hating on a lot of journalists in the Bay Area. I really wish that I had this tweet, but they tweeted something about how Robin Williams and Randy Schultz, who is a journalist in San Francisco, are burning in hell. And they were also saying that Robin Williams wasn't a good parent and that he didn't care about his kids, which is completely false. I went to the same school as his kids and for a famous actor, I would say that he was pretty involved. He did come to a lot of events. He probably didn't drive his kids to school every day, but I do think that he was a good parent. So we got into a little bit of an argument about that. So our argument on Twitter took place in the morning, and then in the afternoon, I took a bus from my work in Sunnyvale to the Apple campus in Cupertino, and I brought my camera to take pictures. I got there around 12.30, and the protest was supposed to start at 1.15. I wasn't really sure where they were going to be protesting, because the Apple campus was pretty big even back then, so I wandered around for a little while, and I found some journalists and photographers who were planning on covering the protest, and we were just talking for a little bit, and then we saw a van pull up near one of the front entrances and we all went over there and a bunch of police officers also went over there so about a handful of people got out of this van and they had their usual signs and they had also somehow made a sign about Robin Williams in less than 24 hours which seemed a little bit cruel to me so the WBC protesters were on one side of the entrance and everyone else was on the other side and they were just spewing a bunch of hate about Apple as you can probably imagine so all the photographers were taking pictures and some of the journalists were trying to get interviews with them and they were pretty open to doing interviews I think that's what they were looking for they went on for about 10 minutes or so and then some people from Apple and just people that were visiting Apple came over and watched and then this one guy I don't know if he worked at Apple or not came over with a sign that said free hugs and he was trying to start a conversation with them and just spread some positivity after that they just continued to protest and say a bunch of bad things about Apple and then they all just went back into the van and went to their next stop on tour so that was my experience going to and covering a Westboro Baptist Church protest if I were to go back in time I would not have covered it because I now realize that they were just looking for attention from the press and that they were just trying to get their message out there I ended up posting the pictures to the 36 app and to my own Flickr and I think that some of them were also reposted on other news sites so if you want to check out all the pictures I'll put a link to them in the description but I want to end this video on a positive note so I think the moral of the story is that yes there are hateful people out there in the world but you can always choose to spread positivity just like the guy with the free hug sign so with that thank you all so much for watching this video stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video goodbye